In this video, I'm going to be going over the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to the subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton, and research has shown me that only 40% of the people that are watching this video, 40% of you guys have actually subscribed. So that means the rest of you guys need to go ahead, hit the subscribe button. That way, you don't miss any of the videos that we uh, post on YouTube. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some bunch defense. Um, bunch is definitely, uh, if you look at the competitive Madden scene, a lot of people are running gun bunch right now, maybe even more. Uh, I've seen bunch way more than trips tied in lately, um, and so I just wanted to kind of give you some pointers uh, with this offense and kind of share with you a couple of key things as far as how to deal with this, especially from the nickel 335 wide. Now, I personally uh, believe that the nickel 335 wide is the best defense in the entire game, and it's not even close, specifically out of the 46 playbook. And the reason why is because you can audible from 335 normal to 335 wide, which allows you to get the best personnel on the field. So all we're going to do is we're going to put the cover four show two in our audibles as well as the mic blitz three. And this cover four is super, super glitchy and super, super effective. And I want to give you some different zone drops as well to use with this. It's going to make it even better specifically against the gun bunch. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn auto flip off. And the reason why is because whenever you're facing Gun Bunch, a lot of times they like to flip the formation around left and right and kind of screw up your auto flip. So I like to kind of leave that off. Auto line, we're going to set that to default. Ball near defense to play receiver. Cornerback matchup set to balance. Option defense conservative. And then here's the real trick uh, of this really quickly here. This right here, put the curl flats on 10 yards. Most of you know to put them on five or put them on zero. I'm going to suggest that you put these on 10 yards. Hooks are going to be on five and the flats are going to be on 25 yards. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just come out in this. Now, if you notice the way the nickel three through five works, you see that the slot corner is on the left side. Well, we always want that to be on the bunch side. So we want to flip it to the hash mark of wherever it's going to be. So in this situation, we would flip the cover four because the bunch is on the or because the ball is on the left hash mark, as you can see right here. Okay, so we flipped the defense, and then we're just going to basically call cover. We're going to audible from 335 normal into 335 wide, cover four, show two. From that point, we're going to basically spread our defensive line, as you can see right here. And then the last couple things we're going to do is we're going to basically set up a zone coverage. So I like to crash my line out every time I spread them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the right side defense into a cover six, essentially. So we're going to put cover two on the right side, as you can see right there. And then I personally like to leave this inside quarter. You could put him into a deep middle third. I like to leave him on that inside uh, quarter there. I just know that mentally, as, as kind of as I'm processing through this uh, on a defensive standpoint, I know that if there's a deep streak or post route over the middle, I might have to go deal with that myself. But you can put him, if you want to, on an inside third. I just like the inside quarter personally. And then from there, what we're going to do is we are going to throw a vertical hook on both sides of the defense. So we're going to basically take the linebacker on the right side of the screen, and we're going to put him in a bluff blitz so we can get that three wreck. And then the left side defensive end, we're going to put him into a vertical hook. And as you can see, this is the gist of the defense that we're going to run. And this defense pretty much locks down everything that a lot of people from Gun Bunch like to do. You're going to notice that this out route that almost everybody likes to throw gets taken away by that 10-yard curl flat. The beauty of that curl flat is it kind of plays both the uh, flat route and it does play the other route as well, the, the out route. So that's one of the beauties of this. And again, you know, this defense, if you get some repetition with it, is super super simple to set up but another question that you might say is well how does it do against you know things like clear out se out and things like that well what you're going to notice here is this these inside quarters and stuff like that really take away post routes and crossing routes one of one of the most popular setups uh, from Gun Bunch right now is essentially Z Spot and Go and running it essentially like this right here. Um, you're going to notice that this defense does a really good job. So, again, cover four, show two. We're going to turn the right side into essentially a cover two with a three rec hook. 
and then we're going to have a vertical hook on the left side as you can see right here and what you're going to notice is this just locks it down the crossing route is no longer open because that outside quarter does a really really good job of playing it so that's a little bit about this i want to go over this one more time so again you're going to audible to cover four show two you're going to spread your line. You can shift them whichever way you want them to do. Um, I typically will spread them against Gun Bunch, and if it's against Trips Tight End, I'll shift them to the same side as the running back. Um, then you're going to turn that right side into a cover two. So you're going to put your uh, safety on the right side into a deep half. You're going to put your corner on the right side into a cloud flat. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to take the linebacker that is on that side and bluff blitz him to turn him into a three wreck you could also put him in a vertical hook you could do anything you really want with him okay you could man him up against somebody whatever you want to do and then lastly i'm going to take the lineman on the left side because um, i only need two people to rush to get the good sheds um, i'm going to do that right there another little tactic that i like to do is just essentially take the vertical hook on the right side and then run a three wreck in the middle you see right here by the nose tackle put the nose tackle on a three wreck it might get you a little bit better pressure but you'll see that this just takes care of a lot of what people are going to try to do um, from gun bunch you're going to see routes that used to be open aren't going to be open and this is the best combination of not only zone drops but also uh, coverage that I have been able to develop against the bunch formation. So you could obviously put that left side safety in the inside third if you wanted to. I would recommend just watching out for the streak over the middle. If there's some kind of streak, like I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say that they're, let's say that they do something like this right here, right? Let's say they do something like this. One of the things that I've noticed is that this deep half from the, from the safety actually does a decent job of basically playing that. So, for example, if we did the defense just like this right here, we set up our cover two. If you watch, the tight end is on a streak. So, right here, what you should probably be thinking is, okay, I can basically inside pass lead it. But if you notice, you see the safety comes over the top of that and it's able to get there um, on that. Now, let's say they go to something like a clear out SE out type of play, um, you know, where they basically have essentially a deep, deep post route to the middle of the field. Obviously, you would be usering in that area too because, again, your user is going to be in the middle of the field. But you, could, you might see something like this right here with a little slant and a little post combo. And you might see this post, but you see here, I mean, it just doesn't get open, okay? So can you can you put that inside third out there? You can. I personally don't even worry about it, but you could do that. Uh, I've, I've not had an issue with it, but anyway, that's just me. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full defensive ebook that shows you how to lock down every single meta offense in the game, also shows you different pressures and blitzes and strategies that you can use to really dominate on the defensive side of the ball, that link is in the description of this video. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope that it was helpful and beneficial to you. Hopefully this will help you a lot as you head into weekend league and probably face a lot of the gun bunch. Maybe you're playing in the Madden Classic. Hopefully this defense should help you. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you want to get that full ebook, that link's in the description. And if you want to get a free sample of the ebook, all you got to do is text me and let me know that you'd like to receive that video, and I'll send you a link to it. My number is 812 216-3644. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.